Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Well today I wanted to do a quick video on my Bandai Star Wars All-Terrain Armored Transport or AT-AT. This is a pretty uh, decent sized kit. It's a 144 scale and here are the instructions. This kit came, went together pretty well. I This is going to be one of my more favorite ones and I'll tell you why in a minute. But uh, just wanted to point out one little thing here that I thought was a little strange. They, they go ahead and they show you pieces for the interior. They have the two pilots. They tell you what the color of the interior is and the control panel. The thing is, once you put this together, uh, you never see that again. There's no hatch. There's no panel to remove to see it. You have to physically take it apart if, if you really wanted to show that. So that... It was kind of strange but at the same time it made this kit extremely easy because all you have to do is put everything together and then paint it and you're done the uh there's no detailing of a cockpit you know because it's it's never going to be seen like i said unless you're going to cut cut the top open and do something fancy i um these are the main parts or sections i should say of it you have the head the laser turret cockpit this is the uh, underside where the legs get con connected to this is the main body and there were a few few parts here I did glue because they just would not stay in place so I went ahead and glued a few pieces glued these smaller pieces and the legs as long as you follow the instructions You'll, you end up building two legs at a time, identical legs at a time. They're on the same sprue, so it makes things really easy. Just, you know, uh, do one at a time, and then and then you do the next one. So basically, the, the, they have you do uh, leg A first. So you do both leg A's first, and it's pretty simple. You just, just go through it. And these have real neat articulation, as you can see. Oh, this one came off. Shoot. That was a bad example to show you guys. But, um, yeah, as long as this is tight, you'll be able to see that these legs are able to move and articulate. I'm going to get a shadow in there, see? So, these are, these are really neat. And, and the bottoms do that also. So, you can pose this in many, many different positions. The... Uh, this part here, they, they have a bunch of bunch of different ones, and you just basically pick whichever one you want on these. Uh, they show the pistons in different positions. So um, I have left this like this right now, separated, because I think um, this is probably the easiest way to paint it, uh, prime and paint it. Because if you put the entire oh there it goes, all right, no big deal. If you put the entire model together, then you'll have to aim your airbrush and sort of get into the nooks and crannies and crevices and you might miss some so I'm gonna I kept it like this so I can paint all this separately and then I'll put it together so okay I'll uh, give you guys an update when uh, when I get through this all right talk to you guys later bye